Hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream. We are playing Shadowrun Returns. Uh, still covering for Athena since she's still out with a, a bit of a wound. But uh, we will be... <laughs> we're playing the last bit, what I assume is the last bit of this campaign, this main story in Shadowrun Returns. Um, I have looked and, and there is a lot that this game has to offer. It is kind of designed as a a base for people to build their own stuff on. Uh, a lot, a lot of homebrew stuff, but I think this particular uh, story is just about done. But uh, either way, uh, we've got one more sort of major fight, I believe, and... Uh, if you haven't been following, I've been trying to track down the the killer of a friend of mine who had a dead man switch stuck in his head. As soon as he died, it sent me a message saying that he's dead and that he'll pay me just an absolute ton of money if I can figure out who killed him. Well, uh, through a crazy string and twists and turns of events, it, it turns out that his sister didn't directly kill him but hired someone to do so. Um because of, oh, the guy Sam killed his mother because he was an alcoholic and took our liver and sold all of our other organs to different people because he was a little bit of a scumbag. Um, I use a little bit lightly. That's a pretty scumbaggy move. But either way, he, uh, he sold all of his mother's organs and used the money to just kind of have himself a continually good time. He's um, been drinking and doing all sorts of drugs and all sorts of things and so his sister hired somebody to kill all the people that got the organs donated collect the organs put them back in her mother's body for her to be reinterred um which you know is not great but uh either way um I'm kind of just taking a look at the vendors to see if anything is left for me to purchase. Um, if there's anything that I will kind of be able to take with me before this last mission, or what I assume is the last mission. Got a little bit of money to spend, so... Let's see here. Dr. Sarah Castle. Uh, I definitely need some healing kits. Let's do that. Mm, yeah. Let's do that. And get a couple of advanced med kits. Let's get all three of them, actually. Uh, get rid of these jazz. I gotta use that nitro sometime. That nitro is gonna be good. Get rid of that. Uh, let's put. Oop, nope. Put the three advanced medicine kits back in here. Uh, hmm. Let's get rid of this lower hand grenade and put the big trauma kit back in there. I think... Any cyberware? No, I don't have that much money. Nothing right now. Um, take one more look at the... at the spells. See if there's any any lower level spells that I can replace with a uh, higher something. Let's see, mana ball two. Image ten. Hmm. Oh wow, stun ball takes three AP. Uh, let's do this also. And that. Alright. 
So let's get rid of Mana Bolt 1. And replace it with Mana Bolt 2. Let's get rid of Mana Ball 1. Replace it with Mana Ball 2. Wait a minute. Oh, it ignores armor. Hmm. I don't know. That's kind of the same spell, though. Let's let's do lightning bolt two instead, since it does AP damage. All right. I think we're fully kitted here. I think that's gonna be the best we can do. Let's go hire a crew. Get this thing started. Hey Priscilla, thanks for tuning in. It's always good to see you around here. Let's see. Need a crew? Yep. Let's hire a crew. Coyote's in already. Still no sign of Paco. I don't know what happened to him. He might be dead. Uh, let's see. Okay, this guy Death Sigh has been good these last few times. He's been top notch. Top notch. Um I'm gonna keep him on board. But we do need somebody else. We had this adept last time and she was not very good. Honestly, I was not impressed with the Nephilim network. So I'm gonna go back to the fixers. Let's see what else? Rigor. What does a rigor do? Oh, that's what. This is what. Uh, this is what Jake is. I think it might be what Jake is. Tech. Drone control. Yeah, it's the drone guy. Alright, cool. Well, let's not, not do that then. Um, I could use a shaman. Yeah, I could use a shaman. What's, what's your deal? Lightning barrier. Fog. Haste 2. Oh, haste three. Silence. Hmm. Okay, I think this is our guy, Sasuke. Knee Earth. All right. Yeah, I think you're right, Priscilla. Paco's probably dead in a ditch somewhere. Alright, let's do this. Spending most of my money here, but if this is really the last round, then it's worth it. Plus, that Death Side guy has been top notch. Towards the Brotherhood, it takes nearly an hour for the taxi to make its way to the squalor of Redmond Barrens across the bridge to the Seattle waterfront and Universal Brotherhood. The building's pre cash brick job with a fancy new facade that sports neon highlights and an enormous set of glass double doors. Through the windows, you can see activity within the smiling, happy discipline, or disciples shuffling along in beige pajamas and slippers. The greeter stands outside in the front door, gently attempting to entice the misbegotten and curious to enter, take the first baby steps towards brotherhood. Pike Place Market is usually empty, but now you step out of the cab to the sounds of an excited crowd. Interesting. So something is going down. I think I'm well equipped, at least as well as I can be. Um, let's put frag grenade. Actually, no. Let's let's take the frag grenade. Off. Put it on her. He needs a trauma kit. Uh, quickness. What is quickness good for? Quickness is good for 
shooting, I think. So let's give him some drugs. Alright, I think that's all we got. I think that's all we got. Here we go. Let's do it. You have karma. Spend karma. Ten karma! I need some body. And some quickness, I guess. Here we go. Oh boy, drones and stuff. Maria Mercurial fan. Finn is apparently excited to be in the same city as the rock star. Hey, how you doing? You here for the Maria Mercurial po concert? Uh, going to the Universal Brotherhood. Wavy. One of my roommates is a sister. She seems happy. She's hoping to get into the inner circle soon. Inner circle? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but she's excited about it. I think there's a graduation ceremony. I'm going to try and find a better spot to hear. Dealer. Wouldn't be a rock concert without a drug dealer. Although no police are nearby, he plays a part as his performance was part of the experience. Yeah, you like NERPS? Maybe something stronger. Didn't know there was a concert today. Who's playing? Maria Mercurial, the silver lady. She's the waviest. So smooth. I love her chromed cyber limbs. She's fallen off the radar lately, though. Looks like she's making a comeback. What are NERPS? You been living under a rock? NERPS is a wonderful drug. It'll cure whatever ails you. Got NERPS? No, I'm out of NERPS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be ours. They just started setting up. Crowds already forming. This is her town, so it's no surprise. Show me what you got. Okay. I'm good. Security guard. Can I help you? Do you work for the Rockstar? Yeah, I work for Maria Mercurial. Something I can do for you? I'd like to meet her. Lots of people want to meet her. Um... I have a song she'd like to hear. She writes all her own music. Know anything about the Universal Brotherhood? Just what I see on Try D. Can I get in the concert? It's not up to me. Concert was already announced an hour ago, but the tickets are already sold out. Sorry, there's nothing I can do. Do yourself. Alright. Oh, there's my yellow star. What does this have to do with anything? Seems... Oh, this is the... Th I've been on this street before. Okay. Alright. I think that was just there to block me from going that way, because that's where I went before. Alright, Patrick. Welcome, sister. Are you ready to build a better tomorrow? Have you looked at the world lately? I don't see a better looking tomorrow. I used to feel the same way, and then I heard Lynn Telestrian speak at my first discovery meeting, and I realized what I've been missing. Come in and find the power of belonging. Sounds good. Go right in. Someone from the counseling center would love to start talking to you. Oh, don't mind the three armed goons beside me. You hear the sounds of soft music playing. Soft slippers gliding across a smooth floor. Enter. Oh, I forgot to mention, everyone must enter the Universal Brotherhood alone. I need moral support. In order to become a part of the larger family, we must know ourselves. You need to hear our message in solitude. I have a few questions first. Of 
course. Do you know Jessica Watts? Of course. Grandmother Jessica is the leader of this chapter. Uh, what is the Universal Brotherhood? It's a community that welcomes all forms of meta-humanity in the mission of making the world a better place by helping individuals to become so much more than they currently are. Sounds like a religion. It's because it is. After all, what's a religion but an organized collection of beliefs that relate meta-humanity to our spirituality? We believe that the Brotherhood is the highest form of religion because it brings us closer to the truth. And what is the truth? That's what you'll find out inside. Come and join us. Who can join? We let anyone join. It wouldn't be very universal if we left anyone out, would it? Elves are especially welcome, sister. At least tell me a bit of the truth. <laughs> Gladly. It's something we, we're happy to share. I just thought you'd prefer to hear it from someone more artic articulate than me. It starts with the idea that metahumanity is good at its core, and that we're all one family. But more to it than that, it's that we're linked to something greater than ourselves, something beyond time, something beyond flesh. And that is? You're going to have to go inside if you want to learn more. Tell me about Lynn. Happily, Mother Lynn is our chapter's most dynamic spokesperson. Surely she's an inspiration to us all. Wait a minute. Mother Lynn and Grandmother Jessica. Hmm. For some reason I thought Lynn was a higher sort of rank. I'm ready to go in. We'll wait outside. I'll take a team in the circle around the building looking for another way in. I'll chirp you on the con link if we find one. Oh, boy. Yeah, Priscilla, their health doesn't look good. Universal Brotherhood. Contrast to the noise and energy of the crowd outside the lobby of the Universal Brotherhood is sedate, tranquil, acquiescent. The low music piped through the room as something from a day spa mixed with Planetarium Sky Show, allowing the listeners to achieve maximum relaxation while reaching for the stars. Brothers and sisters from every race and every branch of meta-humanity mill about the blissful smiles and shining eyes, greeting each other with head nods, palm touches, and murmured blessings. The woman at the front desk offers you a welcoming smile as you enter, her hand automatically moving to her stack of religious literature. Oh, boy. Seeping walls, the muted colors. Uh, sweeping walls, muted colors, and the soothing music of the Universal Brotherhood entrance hall are designed to relax you. Sister Sally. This place is in very stark contrast to the road immediately outside. Everything that I've seen in this game is dark and gross and dirty and bloody and morbid. This place is almost like a church. Uh, welcome to the Universal Brotherhood. I'll be with you in a second. She turns to the other woman. Sister Monica, you'll have to be more careful with your ID. Here's a blank key card. Take it and with your ruined card to the brother Christopher and I'll let you into the office to program a new one. Thank you. Of course, truth makes us one. Uh, sorry about that, how can I help you? Uh, what's the Universal Brotherhood? It's a community that welcomes all forms of meta-humanity with the mission of making the world a better place by helping individuals become so much more than they currently are. This is our Seattle chapter. There are more popping up every day. Jessica Watts here? I'm sorry, I don't know. I only see Grandmother Jessica at special ceremonies, and even then only at a distance. You might ask Mother Lynn if you can catch her at the auditorium. Is she here? I believe so. I think she arrived at the end of Father Willie's talk, so you might find her in the auditorium. Why is she called Grandmother Jessica? Universal Brotherhood, we learn that the world is all one family. When you choose a path of belonging, you become one of the brothers and sisters. We're led by fathers and mothers, who are in turn led by grandmothers. Uh, or led by Grandmother Jessica at the Seattle's Family Matriarch. Got a blank key card? I don't know why you would need one. They're only used to replace the cards of brothers and sisters who have damaged theirs. Do you know that there's a Maria Mercurial concert outside right now? I know, isn't it exciting? We're a big fan of hers. First time we called Who Weeps for the Children and I melted inside. Uh, I heard that she's a Brotherhood member. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh my. It doesn't surprise me. She's so deep and soulful, and there are lots of media stars who are joining the Brotherhood these days. We're everywhere. Sounds like Scientology. 
Uh, do you know that there's... Uh, yeah. Don't tell anyone she's signing autographs. I know the elders were front on this, but I've just got to get one. I mean, it's Maria Mercurial. And let me take a card. Thank you very much. Bing. Blink card. Uh, you get one, damage it. Maybe you can you go to the office and get a new one. Take a card. Nice. Alright. Uh, Brother Mike. Uh, sorry, the seminar is over. Uh, Father Willie just answering a few questions before he leaves. Is Lynn here? No, Mother Lent left about 15 minutes ago. Uh, mother and Father reflect on them being in charge? Yes, Mothers and Fathers lead us in the knowledge and experience. Who's Father Willie? He's truly an inspiration. After years of living in the shadows, he fought the light about three years ago, and is now... He found the light about three years ago, now the beacon for us to follow in the Universal Brotherhood. Uh... <laughs> yeah, Scientology in a video game with actual aliens. Um, inspiration to us all. Does he pull weight around here? All brothers and sisters report to him, if that's what you mean. And he reports to Grandmother Jessica. Of course. Grandmother Jessica is the matriarch around here. She runs the Seattle chapter. Where is she? Not privileged to know where she is. Father Willamite. Don't ask any questions. My character is rather curt with these people. Oh, jeez. Dim tattoos. Dat heterochromia. Uh, Father Willie's greasy black hair and disturbing tattoos are quite contrast to the flawless features and exquisite clothes of Lynn Telesterian. He doesn't look to be part... doesn't look the part of a spokesman. You see an adulation in the eyes of those of, who linger around him just to bask in the presence for a moment here. Apparently he's charismatic. I rejoice to be with you. Shadows? I don't know what you're talking about. Please, I live in the shadows for many years until I came to the light and the fellowship of the Universal Brotherhood. I see on you the chains of guilt and sorrow, built link upon link by the crimes you commit in the name of New Yen. Uh... It may wound my soul, but it fills my stomach. Yes, that's what I told myself for years, until the weight of the chains brought me into the pit of despair. The Universal Brotherhood saved me. Um, let's see. I'm sure it can. That's why I'm here. Um, hope so. A hopeful soul is filled with strength. What can I do to add to the strength? Uh, I'd like to speak with Lynn. Many are attached to the bright light that is Lynn Telestrian, but she cannot see everyone. What business do you have with her? Uh, I'm tracking the Emerald City Ripper. Mother Lynn left about 15 minutes ago. Regardless, I don't believe that Telestrian would have any information relevant to the serial killer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be an accusatory dude or lady. You're delusional and need help. Our counselors could help find the stability you're cl you clearly need. Surely there's some other gift of wisdom that I may help you find your way out of the darkness. I'm looking for Jessica. May I ask what your business is with Jessica? Or Grandmother Jessica? She's very busy. Um, I'm working to solve her brother's murder. She's entered the inner sanctum and cannot be disrupted. I must tell you that the news of her brother's murder will not change anything for her. When we joined the Universal Brotherhood, we put our birth families behind us and devote ourselves to belonging to something larger. I know that it seems heartless, but it may be hard to understand. If you speak to one of our counselors, it will all start to make sense. Is that all? Thank you for your time. What a guy. Oh, jeez. What are we here? Maintenance. Left of the equipment. Look at the tools. There's a hammer. Number of screwdrivers. Seemingly random collection of screws, bolts, and nuts. Like cleaning solvents. Can label kerosene. Can label paint solvent. Take the kerosene. And then dip my card into the paint solvent. Plastic ID card melts in the solvent enough to be recognizable as a UB card, but hide that it did not have anything printed on it. Cool. 
walk away. That's done. Janitor. As you approach the janitor, he looks up, seeming surprised anyone noticed he was there. What do you want? Uh, Looking to make a little easy money today? What do you got in mind? Because you're not my type. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Bet you see a lot of things around here. I want to hear some. You mentioned money. Don't know yet. Talking, I'll tell you. All right. Like my grandpa used to say, checks in the mail. Don't think so. Grandpa's dead. So is the mail. Don't talk smack about my grandpa. <laughs> money up front or no deal. Hundred now, another hundred. You got a deal. He ends cred stick. Transfer a hundred again. What do you what do you need to know? Seen Jessica and Watts around? Nope, that don't mean much. Most of the place is off limits to me. Uh what do you know about the areas you don't have access to? Brothers and sisters live with what's called the home. Which I've heard is the kitchen and dorm rooms. Or has a kitchen and dorm rooms. From there, I've been told there's a ton of security protecting what the freaks call the inner sanctum. But I've never seen any of it. Need a computer terminal. You know where it is? Only computers I've seen in this place are the office section of the home behind staff-only doors. Uh, I only have access to the public space we're in now. Storage room, locker room, the office. I want you to give me the office. What will your keycard cost me? No way I'm giving my card to cause trouble. That sort of thing would come back to haunt me. Where can I get a different card? Sometimes the staff leave key cards and uniforms in the locker room. Tell you what, for 300 new yen, I can get you into the storeroom that connects to the locker room. How about 150? Okay, make it quick before someone looks over. Excellent. Excellent. Liquefied cane sugar. One gallon can, 24 count. You see a lot on the shelves. Industrial toilet cleaner. Ooh. Cooking lard. Take the lard. Doesn't fit in the pocket, so you have to carry it around. So now I'm just carrying around a tub of lard for some reason. Six boxes of chloroform. Take chloroform. Done. I don't know what chloroform's doing in the freaking kitchen. In the, the pantry, but, you know, whatever. Uh, search the locker. Well-worn uniform. Would fit a dwarf. Um, I'll take the key card. Uh, uniform's too small. Interesting. I bet if I were a dwarf, then I could put that on. And yeah. Search the locker. Two uniforms. Troll and orc. Gotcha. So maybe there's one for an elf in here, maybe? Take the standard size uniform, read the article. Articles are about a variety of missing persons cases, um, which a missing person had become a member of the Universal Brotherhood. Ah, in the articles, the spokesperson for the Brotherhood says that these people are not missing. They've cut ties to the family who have used them as children. Gotcha. Cool, I am a janitor now. Hello, people. Do not... Do not mind janitor. Janitor will leave you all alone. Kerosene and lard is a great mixture, yeah. Tables covered in snack foods. Warming stove. Warm up a plate of food. Oh boy. Not yet. Not yet. I will do that in a bit. Variety of sweets, including red and blue candy. Cool, so I have fire making capability now. Sister Wilma. Uh, let's not talk to Sister Wilma yet. Sister Nancy. Brother Christopher. Oh, wait, I can get in this door. Bing. Nice. Ooh, how's it going? Good, I found a way in the off limits area of the Brotherhood. Jessica's somewhere in here. Find another way into this place? 
Yep, went down an alley and found a side door near the back. We'll send the coordinates as soon as we can. Okay, when I find it, I'll let you in. Take your time. Look around, open the door when you're ready. We'll chill here. Uh, chalkboard delivered UB blank key cards. I'll leave it alone. I've already got one. Because I lied to a lady up front. Computer! Show me your secrets. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I dipped mine in the freaking paint solvent. Okay. Name, housing location, universal ID, alphanumeric, private password. Hmm. To start data entry. The list below. Names that are currently approved to have key cards. If you need a new card and your name is not on the list, please see Father Willie. I will be Monica. Why not? Housing unit. Uh, why not? Alphanumeric. That password will be Sarah, my love. Processing. Valid information. Of course. Of course. Of course. Alright, so I gotta talk to people and figure this stuff out. Or I could start a fire in the kitchen. Let me let me let me figure this other stuff out. Rejoice, how can I help you? Is this the office door? Yes. Use your janitor key card. Sister Nancy. Oh yeah, you're right, so I've got lard and kerosene and paint solvent can make something explosive. Of course, I don't know where the lard fits into that, but I'm not a bombs manufacturer, so... <laughs> uh, what's your name? Um, I'm a lost sheep who's looking for my flock. Then you come to the right place. Tell me something about yourself so I can pair you with the right counselor. I'm the perfect sister to speak with. She has similar background. Talk security. Get along fabulously, but she isn't in today. The rest of the counselors can book and come back tomorrow. Uh, okay. Crap. Alright. 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 Oh, don't mind me. I'm just walking in on your counseling session dressed as a janitor. Everything's going to be fine. All right, let's see. Uh, oh. Okay, then. A wastebasket filled with outgoing letters. <laughs> of course. Shredded paper, which appears to have been letters. Two letters. Escape the shredder. Dear Charles, I've been trying to raise you for months. Come to the Universal Brotherhood several times, and every time I've been told we can't see you. Since we're not allowed to go online in any way, which can only try to make contact with you by letter. Which we've done time and time again with no response. How can you forget the people that raise you? Uh, from the desk of Monica Sacknoff. Dear Brian, I want you to know that I'm happy with the Universal Brotherhood. Sad that I never got any responses from letters. I would email messages to you, but I know my letters were not allowed to go online. You know, I've loved you since the day we were born. Mom and Dad always gave me crap for never being able to pronounce your name when you were a baby, but it's been endearing for me to call you ever since. Please reply to this letter. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay, hang on. Monica Schnoff. What, what do we have here? My diminutive friend. Okay. Universal Brotherhood. Alpha Sort. Alpha Sort status indicators on A to D. 
Oh, God. Um, I think Lord's a grease so you could make a grease fire and they set up a sprinkler fire everywhere. Priscilla, you're scaring me a little bit. Uh, Hario, half high. Marco. Michael Jacobs. Mickle, Mike Schmidt, Monica Sacknoff. Mm, wow. I don't know if I'm supposed to be finding anything in here. Admin functions. Name, Sister Delwares. Recover password. My favorite frisbee catcher. Shorty. Admin functions unlocked. Hey! hey! Authorized new key card. Uh, Father Willie has authorized the following new key cards to be printed. Click the name to see the alphanumeric mark at Monica Stacknoff. C134647. One, three, four, six, four, seven. View attendance logs. View correspondence logs. Okay. Don't computer. Okay. Okay. Let's see. All right, activate hollow disk. Display high level blueprint inner sanctum. Access denied. Home areas. Four dormitories. Okay, so I need to figure out where Monica Sacknoff is. She is in B, dorm B. Monica Sacknoff is in dorm B. Okay, all right. Blank key card, data entry. Monica Sagnoff, Dorm B, C134, correct password. Uh, new life for me? Dang it. Okay, so I need to find her password. I got everything else, but I need to find her password. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe her letter to Brian had something to do with it? Data entry, Monica, Dorm B, 134, Baby Bree, processing, keycard complete. Nice. Take it. Excellent. All right, but I need a, I need a proper uniform now. Oof, that sounds rough. Yeah, don't throw water on a grease fire, for sure. For sure, for sure. Uh, what is this? Streamers and greeting cards are on the lower bunk. Look at the cards. Two greeting cards taped to the bunk. One's a giant homemade card. The other's professionally printed and features the logo of the Universal Brotherhood. One homemade card missing you already. We're so proud of you for advancing into the inner sanctum. Remember us lowly brothers and sisters. Come visit us often. Love, Monica, and your fellow dormant. So Julie can get into the inner sanctum. Dear Sister Julie, it's my pleasure to invite you to join us in the inner sanctum. The mother of the universal brotherhood. I left you an upgraded key card in your locker. All right. All right, search the bunk, find sister's uniform, take it. Boom, uniformed up. Excellent, done looking at the bunk. Locker, give me that card, give me the card. 
force it open. Oh, it makes a lot of noise. Oh, crap. Run away. Uh, dear Mom and Dad, I write to you every day, but I never hear back. Maybe what they're saying is true. Maybe you never loved me at all. Oh, man. We found that wastebasket filled with outgoing letters. These people... They're being had. Locker contains a brother's uniform. It's not fit you. Oh, jeez. Freaking laser guns? Holy freaking crap, man. This is like super culty. I don't know. I I've been religious for all my life, and I've my church has never had laser guns in it. I will have to say, he's a routing slip. Shane could not accept the truth and would no longer be needing these things. He's moved downstairs. Oh boy, open the box. Clothes, personal items, photo of cherry bomb. Digging deeper, you find these are belongings of Brother Shane. Oh yeah, this is the guy that she was talking about back in part one. Locker contains a brother's uniform. This is fate. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, nope. Contains sister's uniform that would fit you. Walk away, I've already got one. Thank you very much. Oh, person. Cook. Hello, Cook. I'm going to talk to you. Yes, sister. What can I do for you? Sister Sally was asking for you. What she want now? <laughs> uh, cold storage. Live specimen. Keep her fridge. What? Live storage? Broken vending machine. Looks like it could be moved. Aha! Spread the lard on the ground. Move it out of the way. Nice. Secret, secret tunnel. Fridge contains mostly things that are either brown or green. Primarily different seem to be age. Very nice. Oh, you gotta let your team in first. Fine. Do not open. Open the door and let your team in. Nice. Get in there, man. Door is locked. Oh, wait. I can go this way. Because I've got the key card. Heck yes. Facilities on lockdown. The remote scanners cleared your badge. But who are these people? Um, new members. I see. Well, until you deliver them to grandmother, they're, you're responsible for them. So don't let them go wandering off. Indeed. Don't mind our guns and various other machinery. The door will take you to the inner sanctum of the Universal Brotherhood. If you've not retrieved your team yet, you'll be unable to do so past this point. Do you wish to proceed? I do. <laughs> now I'm going to assume that all Scientology buildings have laser turrets. <laughs> you know, you might not be wrong there, actually. <laughs> past the door is a short passage leading to the freight elevator. You hit the down button, the elevator rumbles uh, its descent. Past where a basement would be, Past where a parking garage would be, the doors open to a very different environment from the one you left. Gone is the airy, uh, soothing atmosphere of the Brotherhood's public space. Corridor leading from the elevator is utilitarian, utilitarian and sterile. A spa music replaced by echoing nothingness. Somewhere ahead, far below the Universal Brotherhood, is Sam's twin sister. Somewhere ahead, beneath the veneer of unity and belonging, is Sam's killer. Same woman, Jessica Watts. Alright, figure out what's really going down at the Universal Brotherhood. Karma. 
seven. Let's see what we got here. Body. Yep. Give me that body. That sounded weird. All right. What do we got here? Fulfill your purpose. Oh, yay. That didn't take long. Already found a dead guy. Hi, Mom and Dad. I hope you guys are doing great and you aren't having any more problems with the neighbor's dog. Sorry it's been so long since I wrote, but once you've reached my level, you need to reduce our exposure to the corrupting influences of our world. That means all Matrix and Comlinks access. They don't know when you'll when this will get to you. They say that we'll no longer need our data pads anymore when we get to the next level. I thought I would jot down here and ask one of the higher level brothers or sisters to pass it along. Be sure to send them a thank you note when you get this. Uh, I don't know when I can visit you next. Maybe time here. My time here is important. Not just to me, but for the coming age. Peace and prosperity the Brotherhood will bring to us all. Yours, Jenny. I'm going to assume that this is Jenny. Send to your stash. Yep. Find out what happened to Shane. Oh, according to this, this is Shane. Oh, he's missing an arm. What is happening here? Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Shane's ID card. only me. Oh, Brotherhood Guard. Oh, you look... Is that a skull mask? And freaking KKK robes but are red? Oh, jeez. Brotherhood Guard. Sorry, it's as far as you go. Don't worry. All the Brotherhood's mysteries will be revealed in time. Now please step away. I've just learned so much. Can't stop now. Hey, I've not seen your briefing sheets. I've never seen any of you before. He reaches for his weapon. Excellent. Excellent. Great. Alright, let's see here. Oh, that was only one? Oh no, it was two, because I'm hasted. Okay. So let's give a lightning bolt to this guy. Nice. Freaking sweet, man. Coyote. What have you got? Aim shot. Bang. Bang. Nice. Alright, go open that door. Let's just get up close and personal, shall we? How about a shotgun to the knee? Missed? You're right in front of me. Ugh. Jeez. Alright. Heal myself. Uh, let's do a... F Actually, let's do an acid, because why not? Get him. Missed. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, crap. 
That'll do. I'm sure the guns didn't tip anybody off. Ooh. Stuff and things. Yeah, replace the jazz. Yeah, replace the jazz. Who needs drugs? Oh. Hi there. Line of sight blocked. Let's go here. It's like I have a katana? He's got a freaking katana. Nope. That's worse. He has a laser sword. damage. Do it again. Bang. Ten damage. Mm. Yeah, let's do this. Can I see him? Cannot. So let's move. Let's move here. Here. Hey, get me out of here. Who is that? Who are you? Oh man, I just looked at the scenery around here. There are flaming piles of skulls. And a big arcane summoning looking rune. Dang! Minus two AP. <laughs> that guy's not having a good day. Um, yes. Yes. Racket movement. Excellent. Up here. shot this guy. Bang! Miss. <laughs> you suck! <laughs> Alright. Uh, up here. Oh, I'm still hasted. Nice. Got him. Here, just do a regular attack then. No need for that. Please help. Can do... Are you, lady? Marie Louise. Clearly shaken from being locked up, seeing her jailer killed in front of her eyes. These people are insane. I've been a prisoner all night. I heard noises. Uh, relax. You're safe now. What's your name? Marie. Marie Louise. Listen, we gotta get out of here. The priests and acolytes have been going down that hole since they locked me up. They were chanting all the way, but then I heard something screaming. Something else, something foul. Um, we'll get you out of here. Thank you. Uh, I just feel so betrayed. My aunt brought me here. She said the Brotherhood was just what I needed. That I could find a new family like she did. That I could be part of something bigger. Then it got weird. You'd expect people like this to be nice, you know? That's what they're all about. But this was different. They all started bowing to me. And that's when the chanting started, and then I got really scared. Okay, time to go. Uh-oh. There she is! Marie Louise, what do you think you're doing? There's Jessica. What's it look like? No, you're needed here. I'll bet. I won't be your sac sacrificial lamb. My darling girl, you understand. What we offer is eternal life. A chance to be part of, uh, part of a new... 
Jessica notices you. You're alive. Uh, well, it isn't eternal life, but it'll do. So you say. But I'm glad you're here. You helped me more than you can know. Further open my already wide eyes. I thought I understood my feelings towards Sam. I thought I knew why I needed to put him in my old life behind me. But Sam represented so much more. The world is sick, you see. Humanity's sick. And perhaps better than anyone, Sam embodied that sickness. He cared nothing for others. He barely cared for himself. Self-destruction. It was Sam's path. And it is his humanity's... And it is humanity's path. If we don't make a change, if we don't embrace a new way of thinking, we must put each other first. And this is the basis of my new family. Um, do your new family know how you treated your old one? Sam and my mother were anchors, dragging me down with them to the gutter of human existence. That part of my life ended at the burial. I'm free now, free to be uplifted by my new family. There's a new world coming, Mana. It's beautiful, ordered, safe, unambiguous. A world where everyone knows their place. Imagine it, a world without chaos, without selfishness, any other human failings. No one to betray you or to hurt you. Jessica, you're not well. You need help. Save your help for the weak. I'm beyond such frailties. Soon I will transcend. But first, I think it's time you met my new family. They're eager to meet your acquaintance. Hello, laser sword. Oh, jeez. What the heck is that? Freaking Zerg all of a sudden. Oh, he's got a dude on him. It's part dude. True form worker. <laughs> creature makes a mangled sound of chittering in human agony. Holy crap. Don't be afraid, darling girl. No one will hurt you. You are our queen. She locked us in, but I can't get us out of here. Or, but I can get us out of here. Last night, they were holding me in the next room. The one with the computers. I jacked into one and was hacking the security system when I tripped the alarm and got caught. They threw me in the cell and disabled the jack points, but I can fix them. Just stay behind us. Look, I went to the best school in the country country for matrix engineering I know what I'm doing they locked the nodes down when they caught me uh, but I put slipped in some code before they did okay so it has m has to be me that jacks in just hold them off and let me fix it uh, I write IC as a hobby okay just trust me keep those things away from me how entertaining I'm glad you weren't killed at the cemetery, man. It'll be much more fun to watch you die. Oh, excellent. Alright, so this thing is called a true form worker. It has a guy in it. Ugh. Super freaking weird. Alright, well, let's start with some haste, shall we? that haste. Move over here. Let's do some fireball. Nice. Also do acid stream. Excellent. Take an aim shot here. Miss. Okay, how about I move here? You. Kneecap. Let's move here. Kneecap this guy. Miss! He's right there! What the heck is wrong with you? There we go. Ugh. That's gross. Oof. Ah. Jeez. Alright. Alright. Fine. There we go. Do 
this. 20 damage. Killed that guy. Got one more. One more. Let's heal our shaman. Nice. Okay. Protect her. No aim shot uses. Dang! That was nice. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Oh, what? Holy crap. Dang, dude. Curd my wrath, weird thing. Miss. Fine. Pure insect spirit. Got him. Immune? This is not going well. Immune. Ah, crap. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um... you see them in their truest form, you can see they cannot die. What the hell are these things? They're a mortal soul made flesh. They are our destiny. Ugh. You can still stop this. Why would I stop? I see it clearly now. My mind was open to her when she called from beyond the veil. She was rewarded in my service. Faith. Great power. This could have been yours as well, Mary Louise. You were to be the host for our queen, but no matter, there is another. Okay. I don't understand. Okay, uh, let's do this. 20 damage. Heal myself a bit. One! So that guy's immune to everything. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. 
attacker down here. And let's use... This is interesting. So this is going on at the same time as the battle upstairs. Jeez, man, it's flipping back and forth. Let's do it. Nitro. Can't do anything. Oh, geez. All right, so these things are they're falling a little bit easier um, There's still gonna be a threat because if she doesn't get what she needs to get done here Then we're all screwed So let's move Actually uh Oh All right Okay. Ow. Alright. Haste. Do it. I can hear four. Do that. That. 
Yes! <laughs> Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Cool. That is almost identical to XCOM, though. That Overwatch thing. That's pretty much exactly how that works. Whoa. Baron Samedi. Hey, Louise, I found you. Harkeem, is that you? Call me Samedi, please. We're in an unsecured node. Hang on, I'm running a decoy operation with the mirror's utility to mask you so the rest of the Brotherhood's grid doesn't swarm you with ice. How'd you find me? You leave a very distinctive trail, ML. You need to work on that. Now what the hell's going on here? There's no time that next level the Universal Brotherhood is always talking about. I think they transform into bugs. I've heard some rumors in the Shadowland. Uh, but this is worse than I thought. I warned you about these people. You've got to get out of here. Way ahead of you. Node controls the door. Uh, we're free. Now I just need to get out of here. I'll see you soon, I hope. Tell the leader of the runner team with you to contact Baron Samedi in the Matrix as soon as they gain access. Tell him I'll be looking for them. So... I mean, that's it, right? Did I miss something? I think I used that already. Heal. Oh, we just need to get out. Okay. Shaman. Do it. Miss. You're useless. There we go. Um. Crap. I have an idea. Let's move here. Okay, so now, crap, man, Overwatch, yeah, reload, reload that, let's look out this way, oh, now we need to get to the door. gets the job done. Hmm. 
get her out of here first. You next. I'll have you watch the door. Get mana out. Yes! Perfect. Perfect. Alright, what's next here? Thanks for the rescue. I'm getting the hell out of here. What was that back there? I don't know. It was bad. It was really bad. I'm out of here. Sorry. Four karma gained. Image suddenly lights up on your comm link is clearly a non-standard transmission. Whoever it is, they're using Matrix to tight beam their avatar's face instead of their own. You can tell the voice has been modulated to disguise it. Bonjour, mon ami. You must be careful with these devices. They can be hacked if you're not careful. Who are you? How'd you get my comm link code? Forgive me, I'm the Baron Sametti. Perhaps you have heard of Sametti? He's a decker uh, of unique gifts. Some have gone so far as to call him a technomancer. We too have a common knowledge now. We share a common purpose. Listening? Girl, she's important to Sametti. He's grateful for your timely assistance to her and finds himself in a position to return the favor. Sumeri knows the one you're after. He knows. And he can help you get to her. But this comm link is not a secure connection, is it? No. We need to meet face to face, so to speak, in cyberspace. Uh. Why not meet me in the real world? You see, Baron, he is unable to do such a thing in his current condition. But enough about me. His flowery, flowery speech is gone. He's all business. Go, go to a secure jackpoint. Enter Shadowlands. I'll meet you there. Bon voyage. Okay, so that whole thing that I said about this being the end is seemingly not the case. But we know what's going on in the Brotherhood now. Also known as some weird shit. Uh, the Union. Getting justice for Sam is going to take more effort than it originally appeared. He didn't anticipate his killer being protected by a cult filled with giant unkillable bugs. But she is. And if you're going to get to her, you're going to need to find a way around or through those bugs. After a taste of the belonging that was the Universal Brotherhood offered, the sordid surroundings of the Seamstress's Union feels more like home than ever. Nice. Alright, Coyote. Coyote's face is pale. Her voice is low, shaky. What the hell? What the hell was that back there, woman? Just what the frag was that? Um, Universal Brotherhood is all about belonging to a hive or something. Sam's sister's their leader. If I didn't see it, there's no way I'd believe it. Giant, unkillable bugs. Fine, whatever. I want that woman dead now more than ever. If you go again. Go after her again, you think of me, okay? I'll be around. Locked and loaded. Will do. Okay, later. Alright, Cherry Bomb. Here's your dead boyfriend's ID. Let me talk about Shane. It's not good, Cherry. Just tell it to me straight, mana. I'm a Baron's girl. Shane's dead. Can't tell you anything else right now. It's too dangerous. But I thought you should know. She looks at her customers and then at the bar top for a long moment before finally composing herself. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe we'll talk later. She continues processing the information. She remembers something. Oh, hey, Johnny Clean asked me to flag you down uh, the minute I saw you. Said he's got someone who wants to talk to you. He sounded a little freaked out about it. He's waiting for you downstairs. Did you say who it was? I can't remember. He made it sound like royalty. You know someone called the Duke or something like that? Baron? Uh, maybe, yeah. I gotta go these people... I gotta get these people drunk. Oh. Let's see. John Bartlett. Uh... Another question.
questions. That's all I want to know. Alright. That guy's just kind of there. Mr. Johnson. Carefully groomed hair and shine on his shoes seems out of place in the Barrens. Hey, looking for work? Got a little something. My experience, it's never a milk run. Don't worry, it's straightforward as they come. Simple extraction. People I represent are in, interested in acquiring talents to science. This name Sada. Fortunately, Mr. Sada is currently engaged with Renraku, uh, which means he's engaged for life. That doesn't sit well with the people I represent. They see it as a subversion of the free market. Uh, so you want me to secure Mr. Sada's freedom to work for your people instead? Exactly, but it has to be now. Renraku is shipping Sada out of Seattle this morning. Some sort of overseas research project. Tonight he's being kept in a hidden research facility out, out here in the Barrens, just a couple miles from here. I hear they're bringing in uh, unmarked shipments for weeks now, thinking that nobody notices. We don't care about any of that, we just want Sada before he's out of reach. This place should be lightly guarded, probably rent a cops. Get in, grab Sada. Get out. In exchange, I'm authorizing 9,000 New Yen. Uh, I am not, however, authorized to negotiate. Not interested. I kind of don't want to do any side missions right now. just want to get this this thing done. Um, then again, I don't know. The way things are going, this could be a lot longer than I anticipated. Find you a shrine. Change my mind. Bobby... Have we met? You look familiar. Meet a lot of people here, no problem. You need some bar uh, brain benders tonight? No thanks. Selling damn drugs. Mr. Clue, any news? You alright? I've had better days. Heard you made trouble with the Universal Brotherhood. Start up's a hornet's nest, you might say. People are starting to say there's some dark dreck going on down there in the chapter houses. Like they're taking advantage of the poor folk who go there looking for help. Gotta say it makes my blood boil. It's bad enough the government labels half the population as probationary citizens. We don't need more people preying on the most defenseless members of society. I hate to bring race into it, but it's a fact that a good number of people who go to the Brotherhood for help are us like me. What other options do we have? Do you realize that it would take an act of Congress to grant me full citizenship? They've yet to do it once. Wars are started more easily than a meta gets a sin in this country. So it's no wonder we turn to people like the Brotherhood who claim to listen to our woes and speak on our behalf. Sorry, I just know some folks who went to the Brotherhood for these very reasons. Might have ended up there myself if Miss Kubota hadn't taken me in. Whatever's going on in there, I trust you put an end to it one way or another. You can count on it. Go get him. Oh, boy. So, who's this guy? Johnny Clean. Who do you got to talk to me? Johnny's hunched over his desk, idly fiddling with the cyber deck. Seems preoccupied. He looks up when you approach, eyes narrowed. Been making new friends out there? Could have. I just rescued a teenage elf girl from some evil cultists. Not sure I want to know, but that's not what I'm talking about. Someone's been asking about you in the Shadowlands. Calls himself Baron Samiti. He's a pretty distinctive icon, skull face with a top hat. Can't tell what he wants, but the guy seems pretty serious. I won't ignore this if I were you. Deckers have a way of making people lives miserable if they're so inclined. You know anything about the Baron? I did some checking, but didn't get much because he's new on the scene. He's no Wilson, though. He's got a rep as Drek Hot Wire Boy, from what I hear. Never rides among the physical entry teams, though. Purely remote work. Baron Samedi is the name of a Loa, Haitian voodoo spirit. He sits at the crossroads of the living and the dead. Never heard of a spirit in the Matrix before. Been around a long time and I've seen a lot of avatars running around. Tricks. A lot of them. 
Ask me some guy's trying to look scary to make a name for himself. Think of it as personal branding. How long has he been looking for me? Been spamming Shadowlands for the last hour, I'd say. He's the one seeing that everyone's talking about him. Even the hottest deckers like Dodger are saying he's a force to be reckoned with. Guess he's not patient. Something I should know. Could be. I'll tell you after I talk to him. What's Shadowlands? It's where the shadow community goes to talk about anything shadowy. Who's planning what projects, who's hiring what corpse to screw in which. Anything that affects shadow runners and how they make money. That's where I'd go if I could pick up any dirt about you. Uh, know anything about a giant magic indestructible bugs? <laughs> That's a joke. No, I saw one underneath the Universal Brotherhood. What do you mean indestructible? As in I couldn't kill it. Whatever it is you've gotten into, you're in deep. From what I hear, the Brotherhood has members in high places, government, corpse, law enforcement. Uh, you be careful, chummer. That's enough, I need to talk to Baron. Okay, let me know when you're ready and I'll hit you a ride into the Matrix again. I've already set up a portal to the Shadowlands. Uh, thanks, I'll let you know when I'm ready. Any new spells, I wonder? Buzz with chaotic activity. Dozen boxes fly through the air. The articles land on Algernon's table in some elaborate sorting scheme. While the man himself casually sits reading a magazine from the previous entry. Welcome. Is there anything I can provide to make your life easier? Perhaps more difficult? Ever heard of a bug spirit shaman? Sorry. I find the very thought repugnant. You must understand a shaman does not follow the literal incan incarnation of his totem. One who pledges himself to cat does not drink milk from the saucer or claw or drapes. Or claw the drapes. Instead, a shaman follows the ideals of his totem. The dog is less canine and more of a symbol of loyalty. The coyote is less scavenger and more of a trickster. You can understand why I find the ideas of an insect totem so forum foreign. That's what quality would a shaman aspire to in such case. Please, let us speak of more pleasant things. Let's see what you got. Hey, hey! Boom. Oh, gosh dang it, I'm running low on money. can definitely see the appeal of a side quest, though. Oh, boy. Yeah, just this for now. Johnny, take me to the Matrix. Ready. <clears throat> Don't show him on me. I'm pleased that we can have a semi-private conversation. You must be careful with tour guides like your friend Johnny, though. You can't trust everything you meet in the Matrix. Everyone on Shadowlands knows you're looking for me. Why the spam? So many wishes to thank you for saving Marie Louise from the Universal Brotherhood. The girl's quite precious. Far more to come to her. He does not know what he would do. He also offers you this help his help. Uh, the insects you encountered or something. Something dark. To ignore them would be folly. There's much at stake. So many knows you're after this woman, Jessica Watts, for your own reasons. He can help you get to this woman and defeat the bugs. Hypothetically, how would we do that? job's not simple, nor would it be straightforward. But Sumedi can guarantee it will be dangerous. Telestrian Industries has been working for two years on a formula, codenamed Aegis. They were working with another corporation, a foreign corporation, to refine it. This is their third attempt to get it right, they believe they have. Manufacturing began several months ago. Yeah, that future moment when I need to hire partners but can't afford it. I know what you mean. At least Coyote's going to be on the team for free. At least hopefully, anyways. I wish I still had, uh, freaking Shannon. She was badass. Unfortunately, their manufacturing plant in the Columbia Valley was recently blown up. It could have been corporate espionage, or it could have been something else. This is unknown. What is known is that a large sample, uh, sample of the formula survived. 
What does this have to do with Jessica? We want Aegis because it kills bugs. Big ones. Like the one you met at the Universal Brotherhood. If you want to go back there and bring Watts Woman to Justice, you need Aegis. And, as it happens, somebody knows where the last symbol of Aegis is being kept. Hence, the job at hand. We're going to break into the Telestrian Industries Primary Operations Office Complex here in Seattle. Aegis will be somewhere within that building. We find the Aegis sample and liberate it ourselves. Hmm. How do you know about this Aegis? Because Semeni has personal connections under James Celestrian's affairs. You see, he knows. Uh, will you ally with Baron Smitty? Oh, boy. Mm. Got a job to do. If it means an end, I'll do it. Ah, uh, yes, you have a code to follow. It's all about the job, huh? There's nobility in this. Therefore, you must bring this Decker with you. This is vital. What about you? You're not coming? Samedi will be part of the evening's events, but must remain remote. He will keep all of Seattle's law enforcement and off-duty Telestrian security away. While you locate the information you need from inside. What about the on-duty Telestrian, Telestrian security? The ones that will shoot me as soon as I step into the lobby. The Baron will handle that as well. Telestrian guards will be rerouted through the building. With the right timing, no one will even know you're there. But of course, even Baron Semeni cannot anticipate all possibilities. So tonight, you must use your contacts to hire a team and travel through the Telestrian office complex downtown. You'll be contacted again when you've gained entrance. Great. Holy crap. Telestrian Industries, you've hit the big time, chum. You're gonna need a serious decker for this one. Fortunately for you, I know the best. Ming G, right? No, I'm an inside man anymore. My running days are over. There's an elf who owes me the favor. He goes by Dodger. You might have heard from him. He's one of the biggest deckers in Seattle. And this is me saying it. Get you his contact information. You'll know him by the way he talks. Like he's in damn Charles Dickens novel. Sure thing. Alright. I am low on money. Let's see. How much do I have? Where can I find that, actually? Oh, there it is. 9,000 new yen. I know that'll be enough to hire a team, but... Hmm. Bunch of health. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna hang on to what I have then. Alright, Dr. Castle, what do you got for me? I don't suppose you need good to suggest an early retirement, or at least at the very least you might delay whatever's coming to get a decent night's nice sleep and a full meal. Never knew you cared, Doc. Who said I do? Good cash cow like you only comes around every so often. You're no good to be dead. Who am I kidding? I know your type all too well. Words of caution have little worth. Words of prohibition only make you more eager to throw yourself under the fire. You're like children that way. So fine, do what you will. Just tell me what I can do to help. Uh, what have you heard, Doc? Let's review. In the past few days, I've lost one patient, nearly lost a second. I've also learned that a man claiming to be a fellow doctor was responsible for the first of those deaths. 
and now I hear that another supposed force of good has been committing heinous acts of innocent on innocent and women. Quite flank, frankly, it's almost enough to make a woman give up the whole human race. But then I remember why I don't. I remember how many innocent lives Miss Kubota has saved by giving them pl uh, place of purpose here at the Union. I remember seemingly useless wasted flesh like Paco risking their lives to save ones they love. I remember that some of the people were still willing to stand up against those who would see seek to do harm to others. So she's mentioned Paco, but I still don't know if he's dead. It's a real reason you won't hear me argue because you've choose your chosen course of action. But I agree that must be done. Can only hope it can be done without any more innocence coming to harm. It's a world I'd love to live in, but it just ain't so. I know. What you're doing can bring us one step closer. I'd like to wake up in a world short one less evil. And what can I do to help? Oh man, this cyberware is friggin' pricey! Effects of magic rating on your character is equal to the essence rounded down. Magic you very important. Base number of spell slots available to caster. Half magic. Therefore, losing essence. Oh, nope. Cancel that. Don't need that. Nope. Get rid of it. Alright. Cool. Alright, Mr. Delilah. What do you got for me? Hmm. Let's put together a team to hit the Telestrian office. Oh man, Coyote's not free anymore. Crud. Oh, Dodger and Coyote are gonna be cheap though. Shoot. I guess I could go for old trustworthy Death Sigh. Yeah. We need some muscle out there. Gonna have to do. Telestrian's office. Telestrian Industries. The sleek counter of the Telestrian Industries building slices through the scale. Or contour, sorry. Uh, slashes through the scale skyline. Uh, gracefully arcing towards the south, towards its birthplace in the elven nation of Tyr... Tarnjir? Wow. You stand at the lobby entrance waiting for Semedi's go signal. The moment extends. Stepping over a corp threshold is a little like stepping into a foreign country or over a line. Corporations have power so far above the average citizen that assaulting one seems insane, like threatening the gods of Olympus. Land owned by a multinational corporate so or multinationals corporate soil, exempt from domestic laws. Their employees aren't state citizens; they're corporate citizens, and their top execs can't be bought uh, brought to trial for some alleged crime. The runner who goes full frontal on a corp is making a statement, making a name. Three chirps on your comm link. It's go time. I should have bought a new outfit, but I didn't. This will have to do. Here we go. Calm Link Chirks. Face the Baron Samedi fills your screen. Together again, eh, mon ami? You and Samedi shall do great things this night. Great things. Uh. Tell me again how you took over my comm link. Somebody told you he's more than a simple decker. He's a technomancer. Of course you are. 
It is true. It shall be proven to you. By doing more than screwing around with my PDA, I hope. These things are easily overcome, be assured. As you were told, there are some tasks that only you can do from inside the building, just as there are some that Smitty must do from his remote location. We must consider our actions, that's all. Boldness. Uh, and a clear head will win the day. Storming the front desk doesn't sound bold, it sounds insane. Don't be so negative. Smitty has rerouted the guards in this section of the complex. The coast should be clear for you to navigate the accounting offices. Fall chance. Good luck, I think. Jeez, dude. Oh, crap. <laughs> Well then, that did not last long. Oh, these are Lone Star. Interesting. Interesting. Um, marks an enemy causing him to be easier to hit. Concussion grenade? Wow, that's super cool. Um, let's move here. Ah! Okay. That's scary. <laughs> uh, bang. That's something. Coyote. Aha! Here we go. That's what we're talking about. Let's do... Oh. Let's do a uh, aim shot. Bang. <laughs> Holy crap. Security access card. Key slides in the terminal. Priority alert. Intrusion detected. All elevators locked down. Security response Oscar 6. Unlock lobby doors. Lobby doors unlocked. Apparently the coast was not so clear. Yeah, no kidding, Baron. <laughs> Thought you said you were a technomancer. Do not doubt, Sumeri. The Aegis sample will be ours before the night is through. There was a reorganization in Telestrian Telestrial recently. They have a new vice president of security, and he's making changes to their standard procedures. Nothing Sumeri cannot handle. Now on to the accounting offices. Sure. The whole freaking building's on high alert now. I just have three AP points now. Uh, gosh dang it. Um, terminals active displays the login screen that reads accounting division. Run search. Local access granted. HR communications. Run Lynn Telestrian. Terminated. Run Universal Brotherhood. Record not found. Okay, so Lynn Telestrian was terminated for some reason. So let's 
do this. Throw one of these grenades. Oh, I can't. Fine. I'll just shoot a guy in the face. If I have to. Um... Alright, grenade time? Ah, nope. Not grenade time. Oof. Ah, oh, dang. Holy crap. Am I dead? Oof. Nearly dead. I gotta get the heck out of here, man. Well, it's something. All right, let's see. Shoot this guy. Bang, missed. Excellent. Coyote. Twenty damage. All right. Crap, man. That guy didn't take very much damage at all. Kneecap. This guy. And then let's do a burst fire. Holy crap! 40 damage! <laughs> Perfect. Knee camp ya. Bang. Yes. And then I can just do aim shot. Wow. Perfect. Let's see what's over here. Counting division, central billing. Project Agus. Terminated five days ago. Financial invoices submitted to blah 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 blah. Um, project resources status cost centers are restricted to CEO access. Logging off. So it appears that James has been making moves to secure his information. Not the actions of a man who has nothing to hide. We need to get upstairs office and deck his personal system. From here it looks like the elevators are on lockdown, but we'll need to find an access point to the deck so we can continue. Oh, out of ammo? That'll work. Search. Project Agus. Established 2053. Okay, so we're, we are in 2053. Terminated five days ago. Status cost center restricted CEO access. Run Sam Watts. Record not found. Secondary hits. 
Linda Watts payment records. Billing non access from this terminal. So it's Jessica Watts. Record not found. Found Melinda. So Melinda payment records. Interesting. Logging off. Yellow paper slides from under the keyboard. Frederick, I must have told you a hundred times the door code is 1915. I don't know why it's so hard to remember, Stevens. Oh. Well. Okay. That works. This is why you should not write down passwords and door codes. Simple security. That is a gun. That is a lot of guns. Those are mini guns. There are several mini guns. Ow. Shoot. Um, balls, dude. This is not good. Oh, this is not good. I'm gonna die. I'm super dead. I'm gonna die. Ugh. Yep. Ah, critical hit. Dang. Alright, so that was tough, and I also was very sort of reckless with that. I need to have. Uh, not the mage open the door. Maybe somebody with a little bit of health behind him. But, it is pretty close to 10. Um, and the way it seems is that if I do well on this, it's just going to take forever. So, I, we will come back to this next time. Um, probably, maybe tomorrow. Maybe not. I've, it depends on my schedule, but just keep an eye on Twitter. We'll let you know when we're streaming again. Keep an eye on Athena's Twitter. Um, this is, again, this is her page, and I'm just taking over temporarily. But uh, we're going to continue this game. We're probably going to play all the way through this story in Shadowrun Returns. Um, but uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you, Priscilla, for talking in chat. It's always a pleasure. Um, remember, you can find uh, YouTube information down at the bottom. Uh, click links, follow Twitter, all that. Um, tune in next time. Keep an eye on Twitter for figuring out when we're going to be play, playing next. Thanks again. See you later.